But the big story on Action News this noon is dozens of pro-Palestinian protesters arrested on the campus of the University of Pennsylvania. Philadelphia police moved in early this morning, some in riot gear as they began clearing the encampment and arresting those who resisted. Now, the university says around 33 people were taken into custody. Action News reporter Charles Watson is live for us now on campus with an update on what does appear to be the end of this two week long demonstration. Charles. Yeah, hey, good afternoon, Sarah and John. Uh, it appears this morning we did see the end of that encampment that grew out of the two-week demonstration here on the University of Pennsylvania's campus. If you take a look here behind me, you can see College Green is cleared out. Uh, the pro-Palestinian protesters have been removed as well as their tents. In total, 33 people were arrested as Penn now erects fencing to secure this area. After two weeks, the Gaza Solidarity encampment on the University of Pennsylvania's campus is no more. This morning, Philadelphia police, some dressed in riot gear, moved in and began removing pro-Palestinian protesters from the encampment to the displeasure of some. And this looks like a state police. A police estate. According to Penn, police enforcement started around 5.30 this morning. We're told police gave protesters multiple warnings that they were trespassing and offered them opportunities to leave the area. However, a group of those protesters decided to defy orders, instead locking arms with one another as they attempted to stand their ground. At that point, police began to take action, arresting and hauling several protesters away in police vans. One woman we spoke to says Penn dropped the ball with the actions it took today. With an administration that has arrested its own students because it wasn't able to negotiate in good faith. So we are finding them guilty before there is due process. In a statement, Penn said protesters escalated their disruptions and expanded their encampment, necessitating that the university take action. This comes a day after Governor Josh Shapiro called out the Penn administration, saying it was past time that the university disbanded the pro-Palestinian encampment on campus and added that the university has an obligation to protect all of its students from discrimination. All students should feel safe when they're on campus. All students have a legal right to feel safe on campus. And the University of Pennsylvania has an obligation to their safety. Students we spoke to say they just wanted a peaceful end to what has become a tense issue on campus. Hoping like there wouldn't be like yeah, anything too bad happening. Um, I mean, can't really see what's going on, but at least out here it seems to be fine. Yeah, now there is a video circulating on social media that appears to show protesters dancing after being released from police custody this morning. At the moment, it is unclear what, if any, charges they may be facing. We've reached out to the district attorney's office to get more clarity. For now, we're live on the campus of the University of Pennsylvania and University City. Charles Watson, Channel 6, Action News. Sarah? Okay, Charles, thanks for the update. We'll download the free 6ABC app for continuing coverage of the protesters arrested on Penn's campus. You'll find more information on the response to pro-Palestinian demonstrations happening all across the country.